video is presented by EA Game Changers. Any currency used in game was provided by EA for my use in the game. Thank you, EA. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Arson Girl Gaming. My name is Heather, and I thank you for joining me for the Sims Mobile Trick or Treat House build, which is actually going to be more than one house, it's going to be three houses. What I decided to do for this build was kind of build a neighborhood, quote unquote, neighborhood street um, where, you know, conceivably you could have your Sims walking up and down the street here, trick or treating in multiple houses. So I went ahead and just did three houses on this lot. Uh, you could create a bunch of smaller houses and kind of get the same effect as well. But what I did was two normal suburban houses with a mega mansion at the end. Well, not really a mega mansion, but it kind of looks like it when you look at it from street view. So that was kind of my idea here. I wanted to use some of the different shapes and um, kind of put them into play and see how that worked out. In hindsight, I probably would have done it a little bit different, but I was trying to make the most of my 12 rooms. So I really had just the 12 rooms to work with and uh, I wanted an interesting shaped house. So this is what I ended up with. I kind of did this like fighter. I, I always kind of feel like these houses that I make look like, like the um, ships or whatever from Star Wars. So <laughs> I don't know. It looks kind of funny um, and very different from the two suburban houses that you see me building here but the idea was to kind of give you that illusion of trick-or-treating since we did get all of the great Halloween haunt event items as well as the trick-or-treat quest and I opened a few coffins so that I could put out some uh, pumpkins and tombstones and just kind of make it spooky uh, the only thing that would have been probably better would be if we could have changed the lighting on this and made it kind of dark and Halloween-y, but maybe it's just early in the afternoon for the trick-or-treating, so uh, kind of use that in your imagination. You know when the kids first go out and it's still light outside, but I wanted to make it also a street where you felt like you could congregate in both the backyards or the front yards of the house where the parents might be sitting out on the front porch giving out candy to the kids as they walk by uh, where the big mega mansion at the end of the street might have like a haunted house set up for the kids to come into uh, you know it was just kind of that feel that I was going for and you'll see kind of at the end of this uh, how I ended up there and and I'd love to hear what you guys think like if you really think I nailed it great uh, keep your eyes peeled because I will be having a follow-up video to this where I tour some of your houses and I've put the call out for that so hopefully yours got chosen but basically I'm going to tour some of the other haunted houses or Halloween themed houses that have been built in the Sims Mobile this week and uh, kind of share what everybody else has created. I have a feeling you'll all put me to shame and I can't wait to see what you've done. But that video will be coming in the next day or two, so keep an eye out for that. And of course, I'm not gonna talk through this whole video. I am gonna go ahead and just let you watch the build. And at the very end, I did a video tour of the house, so you can skip to that if you wanna see that. And of course, as always, I do love your feedback. Give me comments so that I can reply to them. I do try to reply to almost every comment that is posted on my videos. And give me a thumbs up. That lets me know you watched, even if you don't want to leave me a comment. And a thumbs down, too, if you don't like the video. Um, a thumbs down would be great, but I also would appreciate feedback on why you didn't like it, if you didn't, because I can only get better if you tell me why. And, of course, if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe and then ring the bell so that lets YouTube know you like notifications when I post something new on the channel. And now I'm going to let you go ahead and watch the build, and I look forward to hearing from you. Enjoy.
enjoyed watching that build. So here's the finished product. We have the three houses. I tried to do them in their own distinct colors and themes so that you definitely got the feel that they were different houses, even though the two smaller ones are identical uh, builds, basically. So we've got the red one, we've got the pink one, we've got the little seating areas outside and inside, they definitely have their own feel. Oh, I did catch this of Cody <laughs> catching the refrigerator on fire and I thought that was really appropriate for a haunted trick-or-treaty type thing. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. But in this house, I went with kind of pink, girly. Uh, this The furniture is all slip covered for Halloween. We've got some Day of the Dead things in here. A nice bedroom for the couple that lives there. So these are just one bedroom houses. I mean, you're not gonna have a huge family living in here, but I had to make do with the space that I had. And of course, they have the nice little backyard areas as well. And then you come over here, and this is kind of a more spooky, um, dark feeling house, more day of the dead stuff. Um, that was a limited time offer. When you're watching this, it may still be available. Um, if you are watching this soon after it's published, otherwise you'll have to wait for that offer to come around again. But I love this altar celebrating the family members that have been lost as well as giving some food for people to, um, snack on while they think about the family members that have come before them. And of course, everything in this house is a little darker toned, a little bit more on the dark side where the other house, the pink house was more light and playful. So I kind of kept with that even in the backyard. I, I really wanted this table set. It doesn't quite go with the red color I was looking for, but use your imagination and then here's the street we've got a whole bunch of the decorations out and about so that anybody coming by knows this is the place to come and do your trick-or-treating if you just want to grab candy from the bowl it's waiting there for you otherwise make your way down the street and stop at all the houses and check out the goodies that they're handing out. I hear they give out full-size candy bars. I, I'm just putting that out there. Uh, but then down here at the mansion, you've got kind of a, a haunted house vibe with the graveyard and the cauldron. And this house, I kind of went with a middle of the road. So it wasn't as light as the pink house. It wasn't quite as dark as the red house. I used a lot of purples and blues and grays to kind of take it into that middle ground. So um, you still got the kind of Halloween feel. Um, but yeah, I actually like the way the interior of this house turned out. I do wish I had made it a little bit larger because there was a lot of stuff I had to leave out that I really wanted to include, but you know, it is what it is. This, this won't be a house that my family lives in for too long, probably. Um, so, <laughs> you know, there's that. I may do a remodel here in the next few weeks for either Thanksgiving or Christmas. Uh, my Jake and Ella's Save, my other game that I've done speed builds on, has some Christmas items from last year. I'm not sure I have any or very many of the Christmas things on this build because I think I hit a glitch. I can't remember exactly what happened, but hopefully the Christmas event will come around again. I'm sure it will. Uh, the Christmas tree was beautiful and I really look forward to being able to decorate for the holidays. Uh, so yeah, anyway, this kitchen right here is probably one of my favorites I've done so far. I love these cabinets with all the clutter built into them. It just makes it look a little bit homier and I'm really happy with the way this turned out. So again, give me comments cause I'd love to hear what you think.